Jeremiah 41, verses 1 through 18. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Elishama, of the royal family, and of the officers of the king, came with ten men to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, at Mizpah. And there they ate bread together in Mizpah. Then Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and the ten men who were with him, arose and struck Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and killed him, whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also struck down all the Jews who were with him, that is, with Gedaliah at Mizpah, and the Chaldeans who were found there, the men of war. And it happened on the second day after he had killed Gedaliah, when as yet no one knew it, that certain men came from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, eighty men with their beards shaved and their clothes torn, having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand to bring them to the house of the Lord. Now Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, went out from Mizpah to meet them, weeping as he went along. And it happened as he met them that he said to them, Come to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikim. So it was, when they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, killed them and cast them into the midst of a pit, he and the men who were with him. But ten men were found among them, who said to Ishmael, Do not kill us, for we have treasures of wheat, barley, oil, and honey in the field. So he desisted and did not kill them among their brethren. Now the pit into which Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah was the same one Asa the king had made for fear of Baasha king of Israel. Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled it with the slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the rest of the people who were in Mizpah, the king's daughters, and all the people who remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had committed to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikim. And Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had done, they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah. And they found him by the great pool that is in Gibeon. So it was, when all the people who were with Ishmael saw Johanan, the son of Kerea, and all the captains of the forces who were with him, that they were glad. Then all the people whom Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went to Johanan, the son of Kerea. But Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Ammonites. Then Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him took from Mizpah all the rest of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, after he had murdered Gedaliah, the son of Ahikim, the mighty men of war and the women and the children and the eunuchs whom he had brought back from Gibeon. And they departed, and dwelt in the habitation of Kimham, which is near Bethlehem, as they went on their way to Egypt, because of the Chaldeans. For they were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had murdered Gedaliah the son of Ahikim, whom the king of Babylon had made governor in the land. Jeremiah chapter 41, verses 1 through 18. Not only does God report the truth about who He is and His Word, but the truth about who we are. The first murder ever recorded is committed between two brothers. Cain killed Abel over an offering given to God. That can be found in Genesis 4. The solution to man's problems is not to destroy and kill, but to reason, and this is very important, believe in God, the God of the universe, overcoming the sin that has taken us hostage in our heart. Sin's taken us by slavery in our heart. 
The Bible vividly displays human nature coming out in human history. This offends some who accuse it of being violent and bloody. It isn't always easy to look at our human evil. Thankfully, God's plan from before the beginning of time was that Jesus Christ would live a perfect life on earth, dying for our sins and setting up a, a right path for us to follow. It's only through following Jesus Christ and allowing him to be our Lord, the Lord of our life, that we can get forgiveness of our sins and gain the deposit of the Holy Spirit within us. When we make Jesus Christ the Lord of our life, we can overcome sin through Jesus Christ. Beloved, we need to remember that. You know, we don't need to look at our life and say, my life's not this, my life's not. We, we need to look at our life and, and remember what the Psalms tells us to do. Praise God for all the good things he's done. I think that's very, very important. And as we do that, let's remember that there's 150 chapters in Psalms that tell us to praise God. So it might be a good idea. Now let's go back to this and look at the time when the death of Gedaliah, the man who was put in charge by the Babylonian king. This is Jeremiah 41, 1 through 18. A long chapter. It's very important for us to read. Get your Bible guide and turn to today's passage. But Father, I pray today the name of Jesus, you would help us to hear you and help us to know and understand exactly what you're saying. And we thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's look at the scripture and hear what it says. Jeremiah 41, 1 through 3. Here's what the Bible says. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, the son of Elshamah, of the royal family and the officers of the king came with 10 men to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam at Mizpah. And there they ate bread together at Mizpah. And then Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah and 10 men who were with him arose and struck Gedaliah, the son of Achinam, the son of Shaphan with the sword. And they killed him, who the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. What a rebellion. That's amazing. Ishmael also struck down all the Jews who were with him. And that is with Gedaliah at Mizpah. And the Chaldeans or the Babylonians who were found there, the men of war. This is a violent rebellion, beloved. You see, God gave instructions to the king of Babylon about Gedaliah. He, he, he said, you know, make him king. Sometimes we may be challenged by God. We should follow God's lead. Many times we're challenged by the truth. We're challenged by the fact that God tells us the truth in his word. And we strike it down, but don't strike it down. Listen to what the Lord says. Very important. Let's go back to the scripture and learn more. Watch this now. Jeremiah 41, verse 4 through 9. And it happened on the second day after he had killed Gedaliah, when as yet no one knew it, that certain men came from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, 80 men with their beards shaved and their clothes torn, having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring to them to the house of the Lord, now Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, went out from Mizpah to meet them, weeping as he went along, and, and it happened as he met them that he said to them, Come to Gedaliah, the son of Achim. So it was when they came in the midst of the city that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, killed them and cast them into the midst of the pit. And he and the men who were with him but you know what? Ten men were found among them who said to Ishmael, Do not kill us, for we have treasures of wheat, barley, and oil, and honey in the field. So he desisted and did not kill them among their brethren. Now the pit into which Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah was the same one as Asa, king made, King Asa made for fear of Basha, king of Israel. Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, filled it with the slain. 
Oh my goodness. Ishmael continues to mock God with his actions. He continually mocks God. We don't get away with creating trouble, beloved. God will make us come back to him. God will make us come back to it, the trouble that we caused. You know, you can't, you can't just make trouble all the time and get away with it. Nobody, listen to me, nobody gets away with anything. Nobody gets, it doesn't matter what the justice did here on earth. Nobody gets away with anything because God is keeping score. And let me tell you something. If ever you need Jesus Christ, now's the time. He has to be our lawyer. He has to be the one to represent us before God. So we make him Lord of our life. When God looks at me, he does not see the real Rod Hembry, but he sees the reformed Rod Hembry with Jesus Christ. Very important. Now let's go forward and learn this last part of the scripture. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the rest of the people who were in Mizpah, the king's daughters and all the people who remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuchadnezzaran, the captain of the guard, had committed to Gedaliah, the son of Achim, and Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Amorites. Now look at chapter 41, verse 11. But Johan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had done. And they took all the men and they went to fight Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah. And they found him by the great pool that is in Gibeon. And so it was when all the people who were with Ishmael saw Jonathan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces who were with him, that they were glad and then all the people whom Ishmael carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went to Jonathan, the son of Korea. But Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, escaped from Jonathan with eight men and went to the Amorites, Ammonites. And then Jonathan, the son of Korea, and all of the captains of the forces that were with him took from Mizpah all the rest of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, after he had murdered Gedaliah and the son of Achaim, the mighty men of war and the women and all the children and the eunuchs whom he had brought back from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chinham, which is near Bethlehem, as they went on their way to Egypt because of the Chaldeans or the Babylonians, for they were afraid of them because Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had murdered Gedaliah, the son of Achaim, whom the king of Babylon had made governor in the land. This story is amazing, beloved. All of that to say this, we do not get away with things we do against God. We do not get away with things we do against God. Our sins, will find us out. We must confess our sins to the Lord God, Jesus Christ Almighty. Confess our sins. When Adam and Eve sinned, God came to them and said, where are you? Who told you you were naked? Why? God knew all the answers to these questions. He was trying to get them to confess, beloved. What did Adam say? Well, he blamed his wife. What did the wife say? He blamed the serpent. You see, beloved, God wants us to confess to our sin, to make it right and to say, Lord, I have sinned. I have sinned. And when we do that, something remarkable happens. God looks at us and we get the Holy Spirit and God gives us salvation and sanctification starts and praise God, we grow in the Lord the Lord makes us right with him and grows us as Christians. Remember that.